everybody, it's DJ ND, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's Freaky, 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 freaky Friday. Friday. The Freaky, Freaky, Freaky Friday question, uh, which is picked by our co-host, Roxy Diaz. No, Come. Charlotte picked it. Come he on. said he was very passionate about this. <laughs> passionate about this topic. It comes from uh, DDG, who says he likes stinky sex. Hot, sweaty, muggy, stinky, wet, booty, ass, breath, naked, stinky, moist, steamy sex. Well, Roxy just informed me that DDG is no longer with my cousin Holly anymore. Mm-hmm. So being that he's not with the Little Mermaid anymore, he has to find some fishy box somewhere. Mm-hmm. So this is what this is all about, I believe. All right. So mm-hmm. uh, let, let's start with you, Roxy. You said you, you're not... Uh, you and Charlamagne are, are not mad at a little man odor. I'm not mad at a little. Like, if you smell like a man, a man is supposed to smell like a man. Like, that's that's just. Wow. I'm not mad at that. I offend myself I'm, sometimes when I, like, I can smell my. Like, if I go I'm to the gym, I can about, smell myself. I'm and not I'm talking like, about feel- hardcore BO. You're just offensive. I'm talking about, like, you might have been working outside for a little bit. You a little, got a little sweat on you. You know, it's okay, it's tolerable. You might have been barbecuing. You smell like a little smoky chicken, and then you also nah. smell like you know. You still got your. First of all, after the club smell is cool. After the club, you definitely yeah. After yeah, the club smell is cool. Club first smell of all, smell you're too cool. drunk after the club That's to even what realize what anything smells like. You smell like alcohol and, and drugs. Cigarettes. You might have been inhaling. Cigarettes and everything. And yeah. Black right. and miles and weed. Exactly. My so. father always told me if it smells like cologne, leave it alone. If it smells like fish, eat all you wish. I, oh God! Yeah, but I, I think I, mi- I misinterpreted that wrong when I was younger. As I get older, I think he was. I think he might have been telling me to make sure it's not a man. To be honest, uh, obviously. <laughs> now that I get, as I get older, obviously. I, think, I mean, yeah. it's pretty clear now. I don't. I didn't realize that until I got older. I really thought he was telling me some some very keen wisdom back then. Now I'm like, oh. But here's the thing, though. You both. Mm-hmm. Have you gone to the Crab Shack unknowingly crab and continuously <laughs> went in and ate all you could eat, the all you could eat buffet? Are you, you saying if it smelled like the, uh, the kitchen at Red Lobster, have we continued? <laughs> have we continued to have go? Have we continued to do what we have do? Have you continued to go? Honest. Uh, yes, but then I've also told people to go take a shower. Okay. But you say it in a way like, let's go take a shower together. But you still, before a shower, you've had sex oh, no, without no, having touched. No, no, yeah, no, didn't do nothing until after we took the so shower. So you've never been with a with a woman that... Oh, no, I have. I've definitely been with a woman. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You've never, vagina. you did stop it. Yeah, yeah. MV? I'm stinky, right? I'm a stinky person. Like, I sweat if, if, if I walk to my car. He likes to follow sound. Charlamagne knows I'm a stinky person. He's been with me, but when it comes to it, but that's your stinky person. (laughs) But you know what your ass smells like, so you wouldn't want nobody in your ass. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 Like I'll be honest. Like I I know how I am, so I'm. I'm a stinky person. Clean. Somebody can get in it. (laughs) Not somebody. (laughs) (laughs) But I am that person. Like I know I'm not a great white boy, so I know that you not. Man, you too grown for that, man. What? You're crazy, yo. <laughs> you got skin marks you on your drugs. I didn't say I got skin marks on you my drugs. You are not a clean wiper. That's Bruh. what that means. Let's that go, means you're you 40 you... plus years old and don't know how to wipe your ass yet. Let's go to the phone. That's lines. terrible. Hi, this is Sandra. Hey, uh, good morning. Uh, do you agree with DDG? Well, I've heard that before from a partner. I think it's a lot more common than what y'all think. Um, I think men think of it as like a little seasoning on it. Not that it stinks, but. They don't want it fresh out the shower. They want it to have been marinated a little bit. I think that man was just trying to tell you something. Uh, he was just trying to make you feel better about your situation. No. <laughs> I heard it's this really from a partner before. They don't want it just fresh out the shower. They want it to have, like, if you maybe just did a run or y'all was out all day, they just want it to kind of sit for a minute. Like a spontaneous get-up situation where it's just like, let's get it. You don't have time for a shower or anything, right? Well, in a sense of that, but actually the the actual, you know, scent of it. They wanted to have like a little seasoning, quote unquote. I've heard that directly. Like that's what they prefer. So so men have told you that they, they like your box and it smells like a little seasoning on it? <laughs> yes. Like I, I don't know if that's a compliment, mama. So, so so you, like, no, don't take no, a shower. No. no, don't take a shower. So you've been out here purposely like making your, your poom poom smell pungent. She might have she might just eat pineapples and mango all day. You never know. She <laughs> might be eating pineapples and mangoes and all types of fruits and juices and and it may be right. You never know. Mm. Yes, I'm very fresh, but they don't prefer it like that. It's very it's not as uncommon as y'all might think. 
I do believe that what you put into your body and the things that you eat, it's kind of like when you have asparagus and you pee, you smell mm-hmm. like asparagus. I think that like if you have a great healthy diet, you may let off a natural odor that's already appeasing that then it's just like a natural. Roxy brings up a good point. I think it's the difference between an odor and a, or something that's funky that smells. Yeah. Everything has a natural odor to it, but something Correct. that stink means that there's a problem. Right. Because they say if you could smell seafood, then it then you're not supposed to eat it. Because really? seafood is not supposed to smell. Like shrimp, crab, fish, all of that is not supposed to smell. So if you ever have a seafood dish, you know, like, and it's fresh, you never, think about it, you never really smell it if you're getting... That's not true. You smell seafood right out the ocean. Well, at least it smells like the ocean. Right? Yeah. But it has a fresh, it's fresh. It's not like. Nah, because yeah, when you go to the island and they pull that stuff up, it smells like. <laughs> That'd be crazy. You, say, you go down on a woman and be like, it smells fresh. <laughs> <laughs> what? 800 585 1051. If you just joined us, caught. we're talking about DDG and DDG saying that, you know, hey, he likes. He likes Sweaty, his woman to smell like nasty, a little mermaid. Moist, wet sex. That's <laughs> the question. The Let's talk about it. Do you feel the same as the Breakfast Club? Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ ND Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's Freaky, 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 freaky Friday. It's actually Stinky, Freaky, Freaky, mm-hmm. Freaky Friday. And this comes from DDG. Uh, he left, uh, I guess, a post on Twitter or Instagram and said that. You know, he likes stinky sex. He said, hot, sweaty, muggy, stinky, wet, booty, ass, breath, naked, sticky, moist, steamy sex. He'd have really broke the internet if he would have just tweeted, I like my women's vagina to smell like the Little Mermaid. That would have killed. <laughs> Jesus. So we're asking you, what's your thoughts? Hello, who's this? Hello? Good, good, good to see Yeah, good to see you, know, folks. From Columbia, South Carolina. 803. What's up, brother? Talk Metro. To us. What's your thought on stinky sex? Man, you know, I give you, I give you like two chances, man. It's causing if I like you, right? It's causing if I meet, if I, if, if I meet you out, man. If I meet you out one night in the club or something, you go home with me. You got a little tang to that thing, you know. I might give you another chance, but if if I come around, if you come around again with the same, you know, look, man, I can't, I can't mess with you no more. You know what I mean? I tell you one thing: if you go home with a woman and she got on them little leggings, them tights. You gonna smell something? We call those wolf pants. Wait, what? Them, them leggings and wolf them tights. Pants. Them leggings and them tights. They really, really hold in the odor. So when the woman goes home at the end of the night and takes them off, the smell just go woof. That's why we call them wolf pants. I'm telling you, you shouldn't be dating Yo, anybody that got wolf pants on. If they take off their pants, that's, that's, that's majority women what, wear like leggings spanks? and tights. Leggings, tights, yes. Spanks. Roxy skims. I've never heard of that. So it's not every woman. Listen. I don't know if women can smell themselves. But when y'all <laughs> yes, go home, you look. A woman, like, let's be very, very clear. A woman could definitely smell herself. Just next time you've been out all day and you got on them leggings and them tights, them wolf pants, the, what do you call them, Roxy Skims? Yeah, me. shout out to Kim. Next time you wear them ladies, take them off. Just pull them off real fast. Are you supposed to be washing? <laughs> washing <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. Watch. I cannot. Hello, Watch. who's this? Hi, it's Lily. I'm in California. Hey, Lily. Hi. You be stinky so, sometimes? First off, I was going to say, same <laughs> um, sex is not appealing. For me personally, it's not appealing at all. Like after the gym, all that, it makes me feel like the Grinch stinks, stinks, stunk. Um, but what I think DDG was referring to when he was saying, quote unquote, stink coochie, is like he's talking about like the natural pheromones and the smell that a coochie gives off. It's not necessarily like stinky, but it's like it's not roses and vanilla bean perfume. I mean, True. Well, he shouldn't. That's why I say you can't refer to natural odors as stink. But right. what boxes are, you, are, are people exactly, dealing with? Exactly. But it's, you know, young men and people do that. Like it's, I don't know. Everybody has their own natural odor, odor. but it's not a. a Yours stink. just happens to stink. No, you say you're a stinky oh, me, person. Yeah, I'm so a sweaty. You're, I'm you a sweaty stink. stinker. I know that. So yeah, everybody has oh, their wow. own natural scent. Oh wow. Scent. <laughs> no, I sweat. I sweat. Like I'm He's not even saying like trying I, to I, get I an Old Spice commercial out of <laughs> here. Word, right. Word. Don't come for Dion's job <laughs> right now. I, I sweat, like you know, like just because you sweat don't make you stink. No, I stink. Every time he you sweat. He stinks. Like when at night. So I like I I wake up and I'm like in a puddle. Are you like wrong. in menopause? No, in menopause. Oh no, I do that. I, I, I do that. My wife even bought the uh, sweat absorbent sheets. Yeah, I got I got but those it, too I don't, now. I don't yeah. make you stink. Well, I, 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 right. I, I wash my like I have to take a shower every morning before I go to work. I do. And that I take anyway. a shower every night. I do that. Anyway. Some people would take a shower at night and then leave in the morning. I no, can't. I don't do that. I can't. Mm-mm. 
that might be the beginning of menopause for you. For I've been real. doing this for a long time. This is my whole life. Well, I know your pillows look crazy, and with all that beijing that comes off your bed and <laughs> off your head, on t- I know that looks. What's crazy. the moral of the story, man? I hate you. Let Roxy do the moral of the story. What's the moral of the story, Roxy? Smell good. Don't eat asparagus before sex. There don't eat go. asparagus before <laughs> sex. Jesus what Christ! All right. All right. When we come back, we have past the aux. Nyla will be joining us. She puts us on to some music that we should be listening to, and we'll get to past the aux next. So don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.